This station, the slave station, is no police station, no train station, no bus station. Calling all bad slaves from long gone till nigh. Slaves that recognize their culture, never bend, never bow. Never listen to Babylonian philosophy, but interested in mother hurt and mother life and mother liberty. All bad slaves tune in to the Bada station, Jabon station. <laughs> Good evening, good night, good morning, good afternoon, world. This is the Rastafari International Ambassador, Jabani, better known as the Bada. And today, I'm going to be addressing several issues. Mainly, one of the main issues why the Rastafari movement have become fragmented, stand still, disorientated and not literally going anywhere. Now, <clears throat> I am the runaway slave and I have a, my own platform which is the Rasta Black Liberation Platform. As you know, I am a Rasta baby slash liberation baby. Now, as a first generation Rasta baby, it appears that we are a dying breed, meaning that very few of us live today that actually have a knowledge of what this Rastafari movement was originally about. Yesterday, I put out a broadcast specifically addressing the past fifth, sixth. Greeting, my brother. Greeting to the Honorable Badass, known as Fire Bunny. I want to say this for the liberation of black people and the liberation of myself as black people. Most of the artists in Jamaica and over the world, they sing about the struggle of black people the masses, the poor and needy and have not. And all of them, when they go, they go that they will try to help black people. I can remember, even Fender and many others, all of them were singing that they want to help black people. When black people support them, poor people support them, and then get through in life, they forget what they say. There is not one of them that put out any works towards the liberation of the black nation. 
We could not put Malcolm X back. We couldn't put Marcus Gavi as our great hero from St. Anne. Huh? Rise in the early, in the 18th century. Fight in the battle for black people verbally. They even tried to kill Marcus Garvey in Harlem at a meeting, and he must shoot him way out too. Therefore, when I say that I don't condemn even the man who says he's a gunman, because depends upon what you are fighting for. A man who is fighting for just some better living for himself with some food, and at the same time, Fighting, you are killing somebody and breaking down somebody else who is trying to have his food too. That is not God's work. That is your individuality work. But attacking a man that are fighting for freedom international, freedom redemption, international liberation for the black house of Israel and for all nations that being captivated wrongfully by the other nations. We are dealing with, with a liberation like that. Now most of them and them say them are Rasta and I can tell them from my knowledge and understanding. Books are good why it carry history. But there are men with history too, living history, who never even did get it out of book but him see it happen. Just like what I say fire burning and even myself and some others. Being there, not only in a book. But we've been there in the physical thing and know what is going on in the world out there. None of these men that sing about Africa and sing about redemption, none of them put them foot into Africa and purchase a little piece of land for the redemption of the black people. Even say a piece of land and no say yes, you want the piece of land and when man come there, they are welcome from any angle of the world, as black man, you understand? And as we say, he leg from every nation, yet over one, one over all the hurt. So in this redemption, if the white man or the Chinese man or the Indian man fall under the umbrella of the black redemption and agree with the black man tradition, preaching the black gospel, declaring the black Christ, the black prophet, and the black king, then they are welcome to come and dine until the day of separation. In the principle which we have, King Emmanuel has, has set a principle which most of the Rastas in the world are running from, and they want to say, you are Christian, you are Christian. Rasta is not hooligan. We are not terrorists and we are not tribalists. We are master and mistress of creation. All these white people who are trying to step over us, they know that they are our children. They used to work for us. And they are our maiden and servant. And then it's like the maid and the servant overthrow the master and put them into shekel of iron. Now for our black people in, in Africa, the stronger one, just like what is going on out in the world and in Jamaica, the stronger black man them start killing next black man them. Because within all the gangsters them, I won't call no name, but all the gangsters them will go out there and bad up and kill and bad. Look who them kill. One and two of them kill a man who deserve to die. One and few. Because them don't kill the society who hold us captivity and have bury us down in captivity, then serve them. Some of them go turn police, some turn soldier to have authority over the black nation. It's only the Rastafari, Bobo Shanti, and some other Rastas live up to the principle and the constitution of a, a black man ability and black woman ability because most of them out there lick down Bobo but we're not talking about Naya Bingi or Bobo in, in general. But we are talking about the levitation of what Rastafari should be and what we should do to, to, to return back 
to our father and motherland. You understand? When Emmanuel was there and calling all of them to come to the one knowledge, man fighting now and say, oh, Christianity had it wrong. But when we look, we see his majesty go to church with Bible. I have seen that in many magazines. Empress and the emperor go to church. So Emmanuel was not dealing with no Christianity and religion because to the time, you see, say, we are the one who challenged the British and the British High Commissioner by writing them letter. Even myself write the letter to the Queen and I get answer from the British High Commissioner. In those years, I never knew that it was the British High Commissioner is representative to the Queen. So a white man come to the camp, half look like him in Saint. I take him and I clean him off, I wash him and I, and I, and I carry him to town and him say, my Italis. I make him get fruit, natural food and everything and bring him back in the camp. We clap that the man I killed some wolf for US dollar out of dirty sacks I give me every minute me sing come with that when I pull up him thing. I buy him some clean clothes and make him smell refresh. Because he may smell weird as a hippie. Alright. I write a letter to the Queen. I I did not write it myself, but I commanded to write and tell them what to write. And the brethren that write he, is a bank manager. Name is Chris Lincoln. He passed now. And we write the letter to the Queen and give the white man and say, most of the time we send letter to the Queen, it doesn't reach. So when you go to America, file this letter to the Queen. When you call the man, is a man do fine arts. Genius. Yeah. And in can't put the letter and I get answer. The Queen send back a message and say, well, him read our letter in Buckingham Palace with great interest. All right. The next letter that we write, because that was not enough, she sent me to write a letter and say, she was not the only one involved in slave trade. And she's the one going around and stamping out slave trade. I, I write her and make sure she knows that she was the moderator of slavery. You understand? From Victoria. You understand? And then she write that letter that there was some indigenous African who was also involved in slave trade. I write and next letter and tell her, say, well, what would like her to do? To make the first step and start to do something towards us, the, 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 the freedom fighter, that we can, that the rest can follow. Because you are the leading woman. But I don't get no answer from that. You understand? So, what I'm saying, we have to fight the battle in that way like how King Emmanuel used to fight it. We have to fight. Well, it's this or no, as I tell you, I get to find out that there is a representative for the Queen, the British High Commissioner at Waterloo Road in New Kingston. You know, first we used to go to Prime Minister, go to Governor General. We find out all those was waste because the, go the Governor General represents Jamaica. The Prime Minister represents Jamaica, I don't represent England. So the British High Commissioner in Jamaica or any country it is, is what represents England. So we need you know, to come in here, unite on yourself and centralize on yourself by buying land, build up places together and give it name of our, of our no new development, the new Jerusalem, Ethiopia Black Africa International Congress. Church of Salvation. If a thing is saying Ethiopia, Africa, Black International Congress, why should a man change from that and say, Man, I have been here? Why should another man talk about my 12 tribe? It was all like a Bible story and foolishness. But Ethiopia, Black, Africa International Congress is a reality because the whole Africa is Ethiopia. Af is Ethiopia. Abyssinia, New Jerusalem. Because it, yeah, this Ababa is just the crowned state of Ethiopia. The whole Africa is Ethiopia, Mount Zion. 
Abyssinia, mean heaven. So I want all the man and we out there I say rats and I say black supremacy because you have no man when you have no locks but you might defend black supremacy and you have a right to do that. But the redemption and repatriation is not about philosophy I who locks long, I who not have no locks, I who have locks. It's about the liberation of some people who then take out brutally out of this country and bring into, into the West and build up the West. We build England, we build America, we build Jamaica, we build all over the world. You can see our world. And that's why the white world did not want to set us back free. Because when they tell we say, we get Indian, okay, and you'll be independent in the next man country. Nothing go like that. So we don't want to bow under the Commonwealth government. The Commonwealth government is England. And I see even Ghana under the Commonwealth and Jamaica. We want you to come and oppose that. That we can be a free country like Burkina Faso, a free country like Niger, and free country like Mali. Blessed love. Greetings and blessings, Rastafari family. Give thanks to the uprising, you know. Yes, globally. Give thanks, Bobo Greg. I they listen the eye. Important of the month, Rastafari month. But just remind that to some name what the eye left out on particular dates. It was Alvaranga, Douglas Mack, and Sam Clayton. And for the research at the university, them know it was M.G. Smith, which was one of the main man. Yeah, with the university brother at that time. M.G. Smith seems like he was a CIA. So the university report and the Rastafari movements in Kingston, Jamaica, would have given the eye, the date and the times. So we have to go link carefully now upon them. Research and study, and we call a reasoning and put the documentation them together so we can have a proper file of report. <clears throat> but one of the things where the eye of the eye is up, you know, Back a wall convention to I is a violation by Prince Emmanuel, you know. Because the I mentioned 54 and the I mentioned 58 and the I mentioned 61. And the very dates, but there is something what the I left out is 1955, the I no mentioned that. When the emperor involved by sending Mimi Richardson to Jamaica specifically to the races. The Prince Emmanuel did take a chart of the Federation, which was Charter 13. But when Jamaica decided to deal with Federation, that is why he back out of the, his, his Majesty duty. And there was also a convention by, I think, a bright Ford in the forties. That is something where we have to sit down and research properly to come up with a proper chronology upon the historical background of Rastafari. And it wasn't Michael Man named Norman Manley run go England, you know. There were summons by the British Crown. Boston, Norman, and the two of them, you know, we go England. And they saw them get the whole of the, 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 the directives from the British Crown. And them run go. There were summons, and it was the British Crown who sabotaged the repatriation movement in the not Jamaica government. That I want something where we have to have our stance. The Jamaica government was under directives. And the I do mention the Coral Garden incident if they are talk about a second mission. You, know. you have to observe the Coral Garden incident which was eight months after the independent. And the IFA observed the wind rush. So after the land grant, so the whole thing is the British crown who is responsible for the crucifixion of Rastafari and the sabotaging of repatriation by their 
their, 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 their laborers or their clownies that were put in place here under the British crown. And if they look and research the vice of Ethiopia with Malaku Ben during the historical war with Rome against Ethiopia, then they would see some serious factual evidence now. Because 1955 with Mamie Richardson instruction by the Emperor to Jamaica, you know, they have realized uh, even the 58th with Henry, it was the Gabidan Rebellion that took place. Where five military soldiers were killed you know, and the water tanks were threatened to be poisoned. That's our next up now again where we have to have where we have black pan this these issues. And there was also the re the rearmament mission from Montego Bay by the Rasses them to Makna. So the chronology of really put in place in a proper context. Because it was imperial charters that came specifically from the palace of the emperor, specifically to the races in Jamaica, the Matma Planetic Charter 37, you know, and Mobiatek Charter 32, and Emmanuel Tech Charter 13. Three significant, and you have 43. These are the significance of that chronology, you know. So, we have to take a deeper study and put them together in a oneness. Car. If the emperor give a directive 1955, and then because of Jamaica government using the word federation, and the 58 convention were called, also, we have to look upon the date and the time with the Gabidan Rebellion. Also, we involve Henry. We Henry them did phone with Machete and them sell him a plan, a overture. And his son come in and create a havoc. So, again, we have to look upon it because I think England, head of, um, head of the Scotland Yard, were here. You know. We then get killed. Just like how we did have Mark Sheila and all of them, England did have the head of the Scotland Yard we come to Jamaica to check up on the administration of them force, you know. Because in the earlier times, it was Pierre White Man who was the head of the police force, you know. And black man could even be inspector. Because we have a book where give all of the inspectors, them and the head of the police and the army coming down from them time there. Just like how we get a glimpse of the one we name Nish. All of them one they come down and them pay white men. You know. So within the connection with Diana and Ethiopia in a ninth during the war period of Mussolini in Virgin Roman Empire, it is nineteen thirty eight. The first convention of the Federation held outside of the US was in Jamaica. And Bustamante was a part of that federation and convention, you know. And, and, and um, Marcus Garvey wife, Richardson. So all of them man will rise up as political arena within the time. It is the federation will give them that they push there, you know. And remember that the, the, the first fathers couldn't raise the sovereign flags of Ethiopia. It was the constitution of the federation in 1937 where empower I and I with that authority that the Ethiopian flags could arise anywhere upon earth in any colony. That is why His Majesty registered it in the US because the Ethiopian head of government was in exile at the time. So we have to look upon it on a certain levels and uh, I've stand it you know and not just from a favorite organ where we prefer to address the issue of the collective of Rastafari concept because it is deeper or higher heights pertaining to the whole fullness I don't listen the eye to the full seal of what I just touch in show the names them where the eye kind of left out. So that we go call some form of reasoning and collectively decision. Because I look upon the 12th of April and the 13th 
as another significant part in the time of the reign of Tewadius. I see someone did post something where him did send some money abroad to return some slave thing to, you know. So, we need to take a deep study within the whole thing. And I think this month here is very important. Because I did a look on the 12th and the 13th of April as a, a day of fasting and prayer, you know. Begin from Thursday, 12 midnight. And who can carry it out by 12 midday if you go 6 in the evening, could drink water or natural spring water or jelly water and carry it to the 6 in the evening, you know, and break the fast if they want and start 12 midnight again from the 13th, straight same way with prayers and idle meditation in fasting for the crucifixion of the saints of Rastafari. We commit them day day. It's a form of the chronology that, you know. So give thanks for the reasoning, you know. Yeah, and yeah, if you look upon the Governor General secret report file to because during the time of 58 with the whole thing where they did go on and the Gabidan rebellion and the, and the whole broke out till kill, kill some city, you know. The Mobile Rasses, them did go through them time there with House of Patry. With them truck where they do Patry with the red, gold and green flags that fly highly through Kingston and did not be molested by the military at that time, you know. Because Bridgwin Shway and I, that all them time they went want to come through with them truck apart through the military, just break ranks and let them go through. Because at that time, in you know, the 58th Mobile was the most financial, organized structure of Rastafari in Jamaica, you know, by the same university report, you know, and the Governor General secret report file. That is something where we have to balance, you know. So, I see the commemoration of the 61 go through here in Mobile. And I see where them say, Chang, I say, land is looked upon as a form of the compensation. And to Latin Albion was given through the Benevolent Society. And I and I were there established in a museum as a director of the museum where we are looking now upon I and I high kinds of artifacts of evidence within I and I museum and you know? so I think the museum we go through the kind of look uh, colonized by certain hierarchies of the Rastafari movements towards material gaining. But I and I know I look now where I and I want to create I and I museum now with the collection of the evidence of factual facts for the coming generation, you know. So I think we need to reason up on them levels there at a serious note. Give thanks to the I word sound and encouragement it's and strength. 60, 70 years of the Rastafari movement. I use my two brethren, Priest Aral and Bunga Vince, who is two blood brothers, to show how Nayabingi and Baba Shante, the difference between these two fundamental hosts, have caused two brothers to go on against each other to the end where both brothers have repartied and actually live in the same village in Ghana, the Volta region. One died and the other brother Outright declare, and now I know nothing about him, brother. I am him, I am Priest Aral, his article brethren, 
for over 60 years. Priest Aral goes far to say, I am him, is more brother than the brother where mother piss out. I did that broadcast yesterday and I published it on the Asian Council platform so everyone could hear first on what the Baba priest had to say. I noticed nobody made any comment about that video. <clears throat> Only for today, Ross McQueen to publish some kind of documents mentioning I name and when I try to question why the reason for him to publish in this document he's gonna point out if you live in a glass house don't show a stone. Now, let I find this document. And let me take off my glasses so I can see and so I can see. Now, my quippy pick it up on himself to publish on the Asian platform a post by Manly Buchanan. Watch G and Watchcraft now. I don't know if the members of this platform know who Manly Buchanan is. But if you want to know who Manly Buchanan is, then you know after ask Makwepe. The post said, Empty barrel make the most noise. Sad ass. Money. Remember, you are involved. In Bucky Marshall killing. Hear that? Now, that killing took place nearly 50 years ago. Now, my question what that killing? have to do with the Asian Council platform. Why Ross McCrippy find it feasible to put it on this platform? Because Manly Bokana did not publish it on any platform that I'm involved with. Now, I reply asking Maquipe what it have to do with the Asian Council. Now, what also I find disturbing Couple months ago, I published certain things on this platform, and the administer one June and Eagles pick it up on himself to delete whatever I 
put on this platform. I take up the issue with Juna Negos and I assure him that I cannot be censored, but I will not publish anything on this platform in the future. So since that time, the only thing I have published since is yesterday when I publish the conflict between Bobo and Naya Binge. Now, I notice that Rasta Farai becomes a church and a rival entity. Now, I, Jaboni, have never tried to put myself in front of myself. From the first day I start to utter as ambassador, I made it clear that when I talk, no dog bark. People get not them feelings. People say me I bad it up. People say me chat too much. People say me I in pharma. People say all kind of things. But I no really matter. I know I'm not in the closet. I know living in a glass house. Whatever I am saying, openly, is what the world knew about I 50 years ago. So there is nothing I'm saying that the world has not know about I. So, the question today is why Maquipe took Mr. Buchanan post and repost it on the ancient council platform. Now, I'm going to publicly ask either June or Vegas. Ras Buki and Ras Tani to have Maquipi answer why, what purpose is Mr. Buchanan article serving on this platform? And if it serves no purpose, then I'm asking for it to be removed. Now, I don't want to get in a phone like a local politics, you know. Because here it is, I come and I tell you, say, I arrest a baby, and I'm a boy who bust my gun up and down. Now, I tell you, say, I'm a politician. I'm telling you, say, my boss, my gun, to both JLP and PMP. Me here, we're not going on a feelings. I'm going to talk all kind of thing. But now, after me, we're going to burn me out. Please, I advise on them. Boss them gun to. I know them that jail for a whole heap of gun. And these are bingy babies. And everybody's silent. I don't mean lead them astray. Them come up and know where them know and pick up where them want to pick up and follow who them want to follow. Now, since I'm on this platform, I've heard. Gunman going to the bubble camp, kill a sister, kill a priest, and everybody I wonder 
What going on? Then me here, gun man, go down a bad Marley bitch, go in a shop and kill a man. Everybody, I wonder how oh, I started going down so. Yesterday, please, I will tell you, tell the world that is Mongo son who start all this folklore. Yeah, only hear it now, and I put a deaf ears to it. Tell me something. That's why I'm not listening to none of you know. That's why I'm not following none of you know. Because you can't lead your money astray you know. You can't lead me astray. Because here it is you know. The whole of you know, know say. Mongo Vince did mix up. But you know rather whisper and whisper. No you not talk about you know what. You know what. Go for me. To bring Bongo Vince family come again to come bury him when he's been at some small island and rear path some little picnic and, and, and they run him there, run come Africa, yeah, to come carry on him, see him, call him, Sean, yeah, I know, hey, who do not have the call him, Sean, for me, you know, I want to can make it up for me, you know. Cause one thing in the closet for me, you know. Jabone will bust him gun. For anyone. Simple, me tell you all the while. When me I walk with that, I want to buck up in a me. I want to just buck up in a jar. That me I tell you now. You, my cupid, keep a bite up yourself. When me tell you, say, no rust and I ain't done. And you come talk like, which part the rest of that England? Now it becomes, you are different England. Juna, Juna Negus are different Jamaica. Some other man are different. Such a Mali. One other man are different. Kiana. But who are different? The Black Liberation. I am Priest Aral. That is what I am Priest Aral as two original foundation. Rasta youth have in common. I and I know have still a in common with you know. You know. Yeah, more and know that, but tell you know that already. I and I know no have still a in common. Cause still a universal. I know universal. I black and black. That is what I am priest Harold have in common. Yeah, so now we hear. Say, Mungo Vince's son, who opened gunfire on the Dana above a hill and shoot pussy man, graze him. And I find him do that, pussy man, who open up on the whole place and make Mungo Vince a few runway, him whole family a few runway. Down to peace, Harald of a runway. Yeah. Born to hear these things. I don't you know how I address these things. Yeah. Peace. Um. Makwipi. Why did you go in a my business from 50 years ago? Did I come here telling you know, that means I... Too good, Rasta. Did I come here telling you that means a Bible, Rasta? Me telling you straight up, so means I'm born, Rasta. Yeah, me telling you that from day one, me no beat German. I shot me beat. Yeah, so don't get me mixed up. I'm asking Juna Negus, I'm one of the administer, to have this virgin declare. The purpose of putting Mr. Buchanan thing. Because I didn't say nothing to this brethren, you know. I have not said anything to this brethren for quite some time. And if I want to say something to this brethren, I have his number. I can call him. Right. 
So I want to know why this virgin would have picked up now. What don't concern him to put on the Asian Council platform? And I also want to know why the administrator of the platform is turning a blind eye to it. Yeah. This is what I would like to know now. Am I not entitled to know that? If it be have no bearing on this platform, then it needs to be removed. Now, I have been trying to get some question. Right? And this virgin, um, Apostle P, is now taking up issues and I don't know him I am not addressing him this issue is between I and Maquipi so I don't know where, why anyone else outside of the administration is trying to get involved with this now so People need to stay in them lane and don't trouble what don't trouble you.